Happy Wednesday, everybody! Hope you all are doing great today, and hopefully we can finish the speedrun we started on Monday today. Yay! <laughs> Who would have thought that the speedrun would take multiple streams to get through? Not much of a speedrun, huh? Nice to see you both tonight! Hi Proxima, hi RS, hello, hello! Man, I'm, I'm excited. Not necessarily just for tonight, but uh, I'm excited in general. There's, there's going to be some really good content coming to my channel very, very soon. We're finishing up Birth by Sleep at the end of next week. We've got the April Fool's Let's Play right after that. We've got Backyard Baseball Season 5 coming up after Shovel Knight is done. we got an Ocarina of Time Randomizer stream coming on Sunday. And then after that, my next stream series is something that I'm really looking for. It's something I've wanted to play on stream for a while now, but haven't actually gotten the chance to until around now, so... No spoilers yet, but it's gonna be great. Basically, there's gonna... there's a lot of good stuff coming. I, I'm so excited. And now... Without further ado... Let's get the scoop on Shovel Knight. <laughs> That was that was a uh, a shovel pun. Do you dig it? Shovel puns are great. This is not the official Shovel Knight gamepad. No, this is literally just an Xbox 360 controller. Ah well, whatever. <laughs> we'll let it believe that. All right. Well, welcome to another stream of Shovel Knight, everybody. We are going to continue the speedrun that we started on Monday, where we got to get for the game within an hour and a half. We've only gotten through a half hour, which is good time, and we can't die, and we got to break every checkpoint, which means a lot of resetting, but the in-game timer remains low. Here we go. Sharpen thy shovel. Probably should have gone to Polar Knight stage first, because it was closer, but oh well. Here we go. Oh yeah, we also can't buy anything. Which means we actually will have to fight Tinker Knight the real way, instead of just using the mobile gear to kill him. See, that's just rude, having the second gear we gotta duck out of the way of. Ow. Still, Clock Tower should be the easiest out of the next three stages. Although I could go for a Thanksgiving dinner pretty soon. That would be actually very nice. Ouch. I think I missed the dinner plate. Ugh. Darn it. Oh, man! Oh, a dinner plate. Do not have a bomb, please. Thank you. Yikes! Hey, Mobius! Welcome to the stream! 7-8, clean your plate. Yeah! You gotta be a clean plate ranger, folks. It's like the Boy Scouts, but for gluttons. Oh, that's right, we can't phase lock it for this room. Oh, shoot, no, no, no. Doggone it! I hate that part. Getting rid of the rat and making that precise jump is not fun. Why wouldn't you want to eat your meat? Meat is delicious. I just don't understand. I guess if you're a vegetarian, maybe. 
But why would you be a vegetarian? Meat's delicious. <laughs> Hey, that guy was based. <laughs> Not really. I don't I don't condone slapping people. Even if they are vegetarian. Ouch. It's the internet. The People would not lie about a story on the internet. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I thought there might be a turkey down there. Ouch. And yet, we still depleted almost all of it instantly. I'll take it. Damage boosting for the win. Will you let go of the ladder?! How hard do I have to hold left? Good luck. Oh my gosh. Did I just discover a speedrun strat? <laughs> Where you can pierce through his shield? Probably didn't discover it. I'm sure people have known about that one. No, no, no. Oh, come on! <laughs> Stupid moving platforms. I thought we would be able to first try Tinker Knight stage, or at least second try it. Looks like that ain't happening. No, Reese, don't get any closer. I don't want to fight you. At least we get the good music. I probably just need to go a bit slower. I know I want to go fast because speedrun, but it's not actually faster if you keep dying. I have, I have literally speedrun Cuphead in the last year. What kind of a question is that? Gears, I gotta, gotta cool it with the gears. Oh, Sonic! Hey, welcome, welcome! <laughs> How are you doing, man? These Dane missiles keep hitting me. Oh, what? He deals a full bar? Why do these enemies deal so much damage? It's like, it's a gear. I guess that guy actually makes somewhat sense, except every other copy of that guy only dealt half a point. Another two weeks minimum HBU? Interesting. Hope you guys like hearing this song over and over again. What should be Propeller Knight stage that we get through really easily? Hey, I kind of did the damage boost thing a little bit. Alright, Shovel Knight, I'm counting on you to not butter your shoes, alright? I don't think I'm asking for too much. How do you miss a broken bone? I feel like it's pretty clear, even just looking at things. It's just faster to do it that way, even if I have to deal with this stupid armor guy up here. Get 
Doesn't sound like a very good doctor. Then again, what do I know? Shoot. Okay, cool. Checkpoint City. Let's try to pogo off of the Robo Rat up ahead. That or just hope he's. Oh my gosh! I. That was on me. I should have. Hitting the ceiling just sends you skyrocketing to the ground. Which makes sense. But I wasn't planning for that. That was on me. Reese, stop moving closer. You have a 50% chance to move away from me, and you continually roll move closer. I do not want to have to fight him. How did I not pogo off of that? Parts of this level are easy. And then there's a couple of annoying jumps. Especially if you don't have any relics. Not quite as fast, but a little safer, I guess. That guy is not fun to deal with, though. <sighs> that was a tight jump. Oh, he did? Nice! I'm glad. I know Fly's really into, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Naruto stuff, which doesn't really tickle my fancy, but that's good. I liked his DDLC videos. Okay, there we go. Let's just do it the safe way. Alright, you, you cannot see me. Oh, shoot. Hey, don't knock me off the platform, bear buddy. Alright, I'm hoping maybe I can get a Thanksgiving dinner plate pretty soon. Actually, I guess I don't need it urgently, but... Ah, yum. Tastes like Christmas. Gosh, that gear's got good aim! Okay, moving platform sequence right here. Well, there aren't a whole lot of Thanksgiving games, so... Alright, cool. Alright. I think we'll we'll probably get for Tinker Knight first try. He can't insta-kill us, and he's a simple fight. I'm sorry. She's a simple fight.
Hey, Tinker Knight. It's been a while since we fought Tinker Knight normally. Low key, the wimpy first phase where they just run around throwing the wrench and tripping is harder than their second phase. Bye bye! Alright, I'm fairly confident I can do this part well. If I'm good, I won't ever fall off as well. Okay, I was not good. Got too greedy. Second phase is a lot easier than the first phase, though. Bye bye! It's like the Wily Machine, if but the Wily Machine is really difficult, whereas Tinker Tank is very easy. Was that your first time seeing Tinker Tank Mobius? Yeah. Fake out boss. Okay, Rees do not move down and right. I was close, Rees. But here we go. Polar Knight for chivalry. Normally, I consider this stage harder than Tinker Knight stage, but we'll see. Maybe this one will turn out being actually very simple. Probably not. It's got the Vikings. I'll just take these ones... I'll just take this level, like, a little bit slower. Because we're doing really well on time. Thanks to my copious resetting. We've basically tricked the game into thinking we haven't died at all. Okay, if we could have a turkey dinner, that would be pretty nice. Is there one over here? No, just a treasure chest. Oh, I bet there's one in here. Nope. That's the opposite of a turkey dinner. Oh, yes! It's Rainbow Barf. My personal favorite kind of barf. Yeah, the ice levels do look really beautiful. Which it should, because ice levels are generally not that fun. Although I gotta say, as far as ice levels go, this one is pretty good. Oh no, what?! Why does every enemy now deal double damage? I'm not playing New Game Plus. And I was literally about to eat the apple. Reese, Why? Did he roll, like, maximum move towards me, like, eight times in a row? I feel like he had to have to be this close. He spawns, like, in the first area. I don't know why the doggies keep running off a cliff. Ow, wow. 
These guys attack, like, too quickly to be able to maneuver around them. Like, look at that! It's, like, lightning fast that they shoot their freaking javelins at you. There's also a distinct lack of Thanksgiving dinners on this level. It's the lost ship! Like, the Mayflower! You'd think they'd be all about Thanksgiving here. It's also icy like Christmas! This is the perfect level to have turkey dinners on. But no. I could see that. They used to be good friends. Before the Academy. Indeed. That's fine. I at least get an apple a day. Now my doctor will stand no chance against me. Hey, Brady. I did not say to Pogo, but whatever. What? I swear I did not move that far to the right, but all right, whatever, sure. Is this just going to be a running theme where it's like, oh, you die a hundred times on every level? Well, thank goodness. Reese is not freaking leaving, and I hate it, because we're going to get, like, two other forced encounters here as well. And Reese is going to be tricky with no Chaos Sphere and this low HP. Also, fighting Reese will add extra time that we don't need added to our in-game timer. Hey, thanks, Max, for the YouTube sub. We'll just wait for it to come back. I can't tell if you have, like, a photographic memory, or if you're just taking copious notes on all of my streams. I hope it's the first one. Like it could be Ivor as well. That's why I asked. Okay, you know what? We're doing so well, I'm not even gonna stop to eat the apple. Maybe I'll, uh. I'm gonna grab the ladder before attacking him with my shovel. There's my turkey. Ooh! 
my knee. I do love it. Even though I have literally no use for it in this playthrough. We're gonna go to the safe route. Even though it's a bit slower. Oh, this part. Alright. There we go. Okay, now the, now the course is going a little bit better. We're gonna have to wait for these guys to move farther down, I think. Oh. That part's a lot easier with the phase locket. Sorry, folks, I'm concentrating right now. I really would like to not have to die and reset again, but we never know what'll happen, so... Thank goodness for invincibility frames. No! What?! I used... A, I swear I didn't touch that. B, I swear I had enough HP that I should have lived, but oh well. I would think that because you seem a bit obsessed. Let's, let's just hope that we don't have to run into the Explodatorium Part 2. Thanks for the damage boost on the platform, buddy! Oh, oh. Sometimes, yes. Yeah, fair enough. Carefully navigate the rainbow barf to victory. Thank goodness it despawns as soon as it leaves the screen. Ouch. There we go. Beautiful apple. My favorite of fruits. Not even gonna bother grabbing the Thanksgiving turkey down there, because we got high enough HP anyways. Our Harry Potter is off the charts!
Oh, I didn't realize the wolves do a little howl as their sound effect. Once again, we're taking top route because I don't want one of those hammers to knock me off a cliff. It already almost did when I took the safe route, so wow. That was a little on the risky side, but we made it through. Yikes. I'm gonna take this part slowly. Maybe I can despawn Lizard Throat, dude. Ah, there we go. Yes. Now let's hope Polar Knight doesn't insta kill us. Oh, what's Polar Knight gonna. Oh, wow. Hi, Polar Knight. You're still huge. And you still kind of have a beard. Yeah! <laughs> First try! Couple of close calls there. Almost fell on the spikes, but thankfully... Invincibility frames. Alright, Rees, please don't be blocking my path to Propeller Knight. That would be really, really dumb. Thank you. Now I'm worried about getting blocked in. Also, least favorite stage, so... Yay. Also, why hasn't the Black Knight spawned again? We're supposed to have to fight him again. This stage is also going to be a lot harder, because we don't have Propeller Dagger. Which is what I normally use to avoid a lot of the annoying stuff on the level. Oh, I thought that had Thanksgiving dinner. the evil one. Oh, I thought you were gonna fly over my head. Oh well. Maybe we can find a turkey nearby. I'm starving. Look at that goon, trying to push me into the instant death spikes. I would like very much to not have to fight the mini-boss with, uh, this little HP, but no, I have to. Never mind! That boss went really well, and they- oh, well, they dropped some food for me. I think they dropped a carrot. That works! Alright, so far so good in the flying machine. But of course, we haven't reached the really awful part of the level yet. There are cool parts to this level, I just don't like wind physics.
Wind physics are even worse than ice physics. Especially with regards to these guys. I was going to say I'm not even going to bother going forward until those guys are dead, but then they just force me to... <sighs> Whose idea was it to put enemies that can knock you immediately in any direction on a level that's just filled to the brim with bottomless pits? Breeze will not leave me alone. What the heck? He wandered all the way over here, like, immediately, and then it refuses to leave. It got for K Knight without resetting. Also, keep in mind, folks, this is a hard game. If you think this game is easy, you haven't played it. I expect death a lot in this level, though, so... Oh, he did the same thing again. But that guy with an axe, for some reason, only deals half a point of damage, whereas everything else is dealing a full point of damage. Figure that one out. That was dumb. Should have just waited my turn. Here we go. Wow, that guy had, felt like he had more HP that time. That's okay, the carrot still saved us. I also get the sneaking feeling that one time I'm gonna enter that screen and try- uh, I spit big. Isn't there somebody that's supposed to blow me up there? I feel like one time I'm gonna pogo off that cannonball as soon as possible, and oh, no, wait, shoot. That's bad. There we go. Just wait for them to turn their proper color, and we'll be fine. Alright, the Room of Death again. Here we go. There we go. Oh boy, auto scroller with wind. Two of my least favorite gimmicks. It is worth taking out those guys just before they get too dangerous. If at all possible. Also, I don't know why this music has such, like, ha why this stage has such happy music when it's, like, the least happy level. It's also, like, the most difficult level, and it's like, You're on the really, really difficult level. I can't believe it, you're so much fun, and it's gonna suck real bad. That's what I hear whenever I this music plays. This feels like it's first level music. Oh, this this checkpoint's actually kind of obnoxious to destroy. All 
Alright, this room is one where I'm just gonna be... I, I know there are really fast ways of getting through this room. Not, not for me. I'm literally just gonna be like... Take it slow. We got time. We got time. And yes, I remember you can land on those spikes, and they won't kill you, so that's why I felt comfortable doing that. Once again, just gonna wait for the rat, so that way I can take him out without him knocking me off a cliff. There we go, we are at Propeller Knight! Let's hope he doesn't kill us instantly, and that we have enough HP to get through him. Only an apple? Propeller Knight looks exactly the same, just off a fancier outfit. It's gonna be annoying to hit Propeller Knight when she's flying in the air, though. Oh no! Propeller Knight does a full point of damage! <laughs> Shoot. Okay, that's gonna be a tough fight to do with... ...this much HP. Oh my gosh! Reese, How is he never moving back to the left? Every time he moves, he has a 50% chance of moving backwards. And he is, like, only moving forwards. Or he moves backwards once, then immediately moves forwards again. Like, dude, I, wa I know you want to be a hero, but... Really? Nope. Well, Propeller Knight stage is at least the stage I'm expecting to be obnoxious. We're gonna have to be really good at slashing Propeller Knight as he's dashing. Because if we successfully slash him, the, his dash attack doesn't deal any damage. But the problem is if we miss that, we take a full point. I don't like this level, it's super annoying, I don't like it. I just got all the worst gimmicks of all, sandwiched into a single bad level. It really does. Like, name a, name an annoying platformer gimmick, and it, this level basically has them all. Except ice physics. Oh, and that time, that time, when I try to jump over him is the time he actually does the jump. I see how it is. And we can't even rejoice after this because we got the Tower of Fate next. Which, in some ways, is worse than Propeller Knight stage. Wow! How fast do you have to mash to get out of that? Does it expect you to be one of those, like, ungodly Mario Party mashers, where it's like, I win every tap A minigame? Because I can't do that. Especially when you're counting on me to do something more intricate right afterwards. Like controlling a character and attacking.
I do not want both of these guys out at once, actually. I also don't want him blowing me to the right. I don't know, man, Tinker Knight was all about the Thanksgiving dinners. Polar Knight was much more strict, and now Tink- now, Propeller Knight, you don't you own a restaurant on this airship? Because I'm pretty sure Plague Knight and Mona ate at there. Turkey, please? I really could you go for a turkey, especially since there's not one right outside of uh, the Propeller Knight battle. I don't like this room. Are you for real? Sure, why not reverse all of my progress? Not sure what the point of that lower platform even is. Okay. Actually, I bet you there was a dinner plate up there, but also I would have to go through that guy in order to grab it, which I don't think I wanted to do, so... Mm. Okay, that was unnecessarily risky. Um, I kind of need health, but there are no dinner plates around. If I only get an apple outside of the Propeller Knight fight, that's going to be real bad. I hope it has a turkey this time. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. Nope! We are in big trouble. Alright, we gotta be really, really good in this fight, then. Oh, this stupid delay. Okay. We at least hit her four times. Or for four dots, I guess I should say. I cannot believe we got through that. Okay. How did you hit me? What?! Oh, you and your stupid random amount of times you delay before dashing. Sometimes it's instant and sometimes it waits like three seconds. This fight's not particularly great to do without- Are you kidding me, Reez? Get out of here! There is no- There is absolutely no reason Reez should be all the way over here. You ha do you know how- do you guys have any idea how unbelievably unlucky you have to be for him to even make it over here, let alone stay here constantly? You've gotta get, like, unbelievably crazy luck rolls to have that happen. Yeah. 
And now I'm playing Propeller Knight stage far more than I ever wanted to. I'll take it. Damage boost for the win. Here we go. All right! <laughs> Did it before the second cycle. Nice. That feels good. not pogo off of that are we seriously reason leave leave that's not really leaving I'm grateful I'm not sure why the Baz and Phantom Striker and Black Knight haven't spawned. Is it because I haven't beaten Reese yet? I'm pretty sure you have to have the Black Knight spawn and you have to defeat him in order for the lore to... Honestly, as long as Reese is just not in our way after we beat this stage, that's fine. That's all I really care about. Because if he's blocking the way to the Tower of Fate, or blocking the exit from Propeller Knight stage, that's where things are going to get bad. Wow! Wish I could do that consistently. I'm so glad Steam alerted me that Dippy is playing something. Ha ha! I forgot you can... Shovel those. Whoops. I've been taking damage all this time and I didn't have to. I hate those guys. Very glad the cannonball saved me. You're a real one, cannonball. Okay, if we go into Propeller Knight's, uh, the Propeller Knight fight with full health, though, we might be able to make some magic happen. Do 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 do. It seems weird how long the game expects you to go without getting a health refill, and the only health refill you get after that long gauntlet is a single apple. I'm just saying, if it were up to me, I would put in more turkeys. Even though most of the times you die on this stage are because you fall in a bottomless pit, so it doesn't matter how much HP you have. But still, would it kill them to give me a turkey right before the big boss fight? I'm really happy that guy keeps being cooperative. That's really, really nice.
<laughs> Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Last room is significantly easier than, like, all of the rooms that precede it. I can say that now that I've gone through it and can't accidentally die. Alright, here we go, Propeller Knight. I don't like that attack. Actually, any of Propeller Knight's attacks I don't really like. Especially with regards to, like, I can just hit you. I will wait the perfect amount of time before I stabby stab stab. Yes! Goodbye, Propeller Knight. But we can't celebrate yet, folks. Tower of Fate is going to be real nasty. Real nasty. Oh, yay! And we, ha and we also will have two meal tickets we can hand over, which we will be doing that. Because I want as much HP as I can have for both the Enchantress and the Boss Rush. Shield Knight! Bye. <laughs> Sorry, Shield Knight. Oh, what a, what a horrible nightmare. Thankfully, some random... Again, did somebody leave the meal ticket for us while we were sleeping? Or did we just pick it? Or were we just like, there's a meal ticket here, let's camp here. Alright, Rees... Actually, I think Rees, Rees better move back to the clock tower, otherwise... We're gonna have to fight him. Great. He's blocking our way back to the meal tickets. Fantastic. Also, Reese is really difficult to do without the Chaos Sphere. Because he just keeps jump. You can't really rapid attack him. Because every time you attack him, he jumps away. He also has a deceptively tiny hitbox. Go! Yep, yep, sure enough, Rees forces me to reset. Oh no, shoot! Don't save, don't auto-save. Guys... Rees just screwed us out of getting the Deathless Run. Rees just screwed us out of getting the Deathless Run. Because when you die to Rees, it kicks you back to the main map, and it forces you to save. So it forced us to save there, which means it saved that we died. Whatever, we can still do the speedrun. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! HOW MANY BAD ROLLS HAVE I GOTTEN IN A ROW?! That is, literally, he had to have rolled exactly that in order to screw me up. If he had rolled anything else, it, I would have been fine.
Freeze is the worst. You deserve it. You deserve it. You screwed me out of what was mine. But you know, this will make the Deathless Challenge easier in the future. I don't want your stupid musical note. I don't want it. Reese. Oh, great. And defeating Reese now makes 800 Everfiends spawn. I am really, really, really annoyed about that. I I effectively just got screwed over by bad luck. If Reese had not been there, I would not have been forced. I am I am so ticked. It was because I got like 800 bad rolls in a row that I was forced to fight Reese. And now I'm going to be forced into a bunch of other fights, aren't I? Oh yeah, now there's like 80 other guys on the map that I have to go through. This is literally the first... Wow, alright. Sure, fight Phantom Striker, why not? Why not, at this point? Let's just fight everybody. It's not like I'm on a time limit here or anything. That was a pretty good Phantom Striker fight. Bow to me. What do you mean I only got a bunch of pearls? I kicked his butt! Thank you, Black Knight, for not being a complete crud butt. Alright, let's go for the Tower of Fate. Unfortunately, I can't enjoy this level because it's also just really not fun. It's interesting they bring, like, all of the level gimmicks back. The problem is most of the level gimmicks suck. Okay. At least we can easy reset that screen. Okay, rats. Would it kill you to be the slightest bit cooperative? Thank you. this room. Heads up, the whole moving floor thing, unless you're Castle Crush from Donkey Kong Country 2, you're probably not going to execute it properly. Because guess what? Castle Crush from... No, I'm not going up. Nope. I've done that too many times. I would have gotten crushed if I had done that. At least Donkey Kong Country 2, Castle Crush, allows you to move ahead of the floor at parts. Instead of forcing you to be like, hey, guess what? 
the ceiling is stopping you from moving forward, even though there's no ceiling. I cannot tell you guys how many times I have died because I went up this room too quickly. It, has, it happens so many times. So many times. Hey, uh, can I get the turkey dinner, please? I really could use the turkey dinner. That's a rude trick, Dunka Donald. I could really use a turkey dinner right now. I could really use a turkey dinner right now. I'd even take an apple or a carrot. Because otherwise, something like that's gonna happen! Are, is there no food on this level? You know what I should have done? When Reese moved in front of my path, I should have just continually saved and quit until he moved out of my way. I should have done that. But I but who knows how many times I would have had to do that because he just continually kept moving in my way. Every time like how many times did I die on all of those stages? Every single time afterwards he was in my way. Um no. Are you for are you for real? Man, I hate this game at times. Well, to be fair, I hate specific challenges in this game. I also probably should not have been combining all of these challenges into one. If I was smart, I would be like, okay, this time we're going to do the Deathless run. Next, we're going to do the No Buying Stuff run. Now we're going to do the Speed run. But I should not have tried to combine them all into one. So that is on me. The game probably does not expect you to do all of that, but... I only have so many Shovel Knight streams left, so gotta make them count. And I saw the potential to combine them. I could have combined them if I was better at the game. If I was better at fighting Reese, I could have beaten him, and we wouldn't be in this mess. I'm not- no, I'm never doing this again for the Deathless run. Nope. I don't care that much anymore. I mainly cared about doing the speedrun, because the speedrun actually is fun. And I thought I could try to combine it with some of the others. Clearly, it was not a good decision. I'm honestly surprised the game allowed me to live. I expected it to be like, oh, the, the floor was one pixel off screen, so you died. Because that's just the kind of game it is. Okay, like, hey, everybody likes Mega Man. Mega Man was brutally hard. It's like, okay, well, people liked Mega Man in spite of it being brutally hard, not because it was brutally hard. Like, nobody likes the Boo Beam Trap from Mega Man 2. It was hard, but that wasn't the part people liked. Okay, we got more HP at this part than we did last time. 
but I still wouldn't say no to food. Yeah, merge into the ground, you liquid samurais. Uh-oh. What do you mean he ran all the way across a literal gap? He just ran across thin air. Scary jump. Oh wait, dinner plate down there. I know it's risky, but I have to try. 100% worth it. I was at death's door! Oh boy, but it's time for the Great Outdoors, which is pitch black for some reason. It, we could see everything before the transition happened, so why are you doing this? That's part- that part's fine. This part sucks, because... The dreaded... returns. But I at least know they're coming this time, and I'm gonna move very slowly. Okay, okay! Cool! Now we just have the Black Knight fight, which is definitely not easy, but we have more HP this time. Is the Enchantress a dude? No, the Enchantress- hey, I did the body swap everything! Wait, hang on! So female Enchantress is gonna turn into male shield? That, that doesn't work. That's not something that can happen. Okay, yes. Oh, shoot. Darn it. I was really hoping we could keep up the pogo. Oh, darn. Uh, uh, yeah! Okay, cool. First tried the Black Knight. That's good. V oh, look! Very glad we got the uh, the health upgrades, because without those, we would be dead. Oh, whoops. Alright, is it sad that I feel like the boss rush level is going to be the easiest out of the Tower of Fate levels? At the very least, it's probably the most fun. Once you get to the boss rush, it's like, the boss rushes, I enjoy. Although with minimal equipment and lower HP than usual, it will be tricky, but at least we get a turkey in between every fight, so that should make the difference. It should be easier than it was in New Game Plus. I also like how this level is like, oh wait, on the last level we didn't do tre anything from Treasure Knight. Let's make this level all of the Treasure Knight underwater stuff. That was almost real bad. Ow, carnage! Oh, you just die. 
Oh no, we don't have Dust Knuckles, so we can't go up the top route. Oh my gosh, she can follow us. Why can there just be bots inside these? I don't agree with this. Not theologically. Thank you, turkey. See, now the Enchantress is giving us the turkeys, but now we come to the hard part. Also, if we did everything right, this should be the level where we get the checkpoint achievement. He would not spawn until I was directly underneath him. Better to die there than at the boss rush. What's our time like? 59 minutes! Okay, we got a half hour to do the last two levels. We should have this. A half hour in-game time. Well, that was dumb of me. Whoops. Honestly, because we've already failed the Deathless one, I probably could have just continued, but... Whatever. I did not realize you could get through the game without fighting the Black Knight in the field. Like, I thought you had to fight him three times. How do you get past that samurai without taking damage? Or is it one of those like, oh, you can't situations? Also, that room is basically impossible to get through without taking damage as well. But at least it doesn't really matter because we get a turkey in this room. Okay. Oh, no, Fireball. You don't get to do that. Okay, cool. He fell to his death. Yes, okay. I love it when we can kill that guy before he can do anything. No! What? I hate you. Those enemies are so... Ch they only ever pit you against those enemies in rooms where there's instant death. You never have to fight them in rooms where it's like, oh, well, he'll push you around and be annoying. No, it's only ever in rooms where you he'll just push you and instantly kill you. Oh, that's not true. Plenty of people hate me. Hey, Max, what up? I have not seen the, however you pronounce it, guys, Pinocchio. I also thought I made it pretty clear why Pinocchio is my least favorite. It's for purely personal reasons.
I also want to know why this topic continually keeps coming up. the fire! Okay. Now there's another one coming up here, so we're gonna do one sweep, two sweep, red sweep, blue sweep. Are, how did you, How? How did he blow me off the cliff? I was behind the statue the whole time. I don't like this. Level's annoying, boss rush is fun. I was not looking where I was going, I was reading chat. That was that was on me. <laughs> wah, wah. Actually wait, I'm probably I may have actually lost time by doing that, because now we have to watch these guys move around again, but... Whatever. Whatever. Let's just pretend that I did the no-death challenge, because I pretty much did, if I didn't get royally screwed over by the game's bad luck. So that is an early first checkpoint for a level. I guess they gave it less to be like, oh, you don't want to repeat the last stuff again, and more just because this, these next few rooms are really bad. How the heck do you get through that guy without taking damage and without any relics? Like, you can't. The, the hallway is literally too narrow to do anything in there. All right. Fourth time's the charm, eh? Feels like everything in this room is lined up to not let you get through really easily. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was intentional. See, like, if only I could do that with this guy as well. There we go! Okay, cool. Might as well grab that. Cool. We're not completely out of the woods yet, because now we got the auto-scroller, which is still annoying, but... That is the most annoying part of the level. Auto-scroller plus moving floors, yay! They're really just reading the guidebook on how to make annoying levels. <laughs> we just... 
Honestly, once we get to the boss rush, I really just have to hope that we don't get killed, insta-killed by Polar Knight. Because... Oh. Because I'm pretty confident... And I guess Plague Knight might still be an issue, but we do have more HP now. But Polar Knight is the one I'm worried about the most. Just due to the instant death spikes being an opportunity. Okay, cool. Alright, alright, alright! We got through that A-OK! -okay. It's boss time! We don't need any of those dinner plates. We didn't get the achievement for destroying every checkpoint. Okay, we start with Polar Knight! Cool. Literally. Alright. Most dangerous one is out of the way. Now we've got Tinker Knight. Cool. Oh, Tinker Knight has a little ponytail now. Oh, that's cute. Bye-bye! Alright, Tinker Tank time! <laughs> That's a lot of teas. I love how they just bring a tank on the table and everyone else is just calmly eating dinner. Just like, oh yeah, Tinker Knight does this sometimes. Easy! Alright, who's next? Mole Knight! Actually, surviving a lot. We had never even seen that part of the fight before. There we go, Bind Moonlight. It's Queen Knight! I defroned. Alright. Great, we're saving three of the toughest ones for the end. Treasure Knight, you just ruined dinner by flooding the kitchen. Hi. All right. Who's next? Propeller Knight. How do you do? All right. That's a lot of damage we dealt to Propeller Knight. Excellent. And thankfully, no chance of instant death during the refight. That would involve Propeller Knight just destroying the kitchen table. Bye bye! <laughs> Adieu! Alright, Spectre Knight next? Nope! Spectre Knight for last. High Plague Knight. 
I'm gonna save the dinner plate for when I really need the uh, turkey. Because the dinner plate's not gonna disappear until either the next fight or until we destroy it. And here I'm actually grateful we don't open up the dinner plate when we pogo off of it. Yet, Plague Knight is still putting up an insane fight! There's no safe way to approach Plague Knight, because he can throw the bombs in any direction. Bye! Alright. Spectre Knight's annoying, but we should be able to beat him. Or her, I'm sorry. Just in time to teleport to the opposite end of the screen. Don't you love Spectre Knight and how annoying it is to deal with him <laughs> quickly? Gosh darn it! I hate this fight so much! It's impossible to do this fight fast. I bet not really. I'm sure the speedrunners are like, actually, you just do this very specific movement pattern. Feels impossible. There we go. No deaths on the refights. Thank you for the turkeys after every round. Ugh. Give us a hand, Shovel Knight! Oh no, we did get the achievement for Checkpointless. It just didn't give it to us until the end of the level. Cool. Yeah, we left him hanging because it was faster. <laughs> Dig in. Alright. Time for the actual worst fight in the game. This stage gives me Game Boy Color Zelda vibes. The Oracle games. Alright, there we go. No, not the tile room, Proxima. It's the fight after the tile room. Remember, that's an unbreakable checkpoint. Hi, Enchantress. That's right. I'm just going to take this fight easy. go. First try on the Enchantress. Very happy about that. Thankfully, we have enough time left over that we don't need to, like, massively speedrun that boss. Oh, I dreamt about this day many times.
Oh, so Shield Knight is still a girl in it. Okay. So it's just the girl boss playthrough, basically. Okay. Well, thankfully the last fight isn't too bad. No propeller dagger is a bit sad, though. The fight's a lot easier and more fun with the propeller dagger. Oh. Let's try that again, shall we? Hey, Shield Knight, I think you were supposed to shield me. Shield Knight, I think you're supposed to shield me there. Oh, no, no, no. I missed my chance. There we go! It's over, Shovel Knight. Oh, no, it looks like you were one second over time. No! That was literally the fight of the girl boss. Every every person in that fight was a girl. Actually, every character in this was a girl boss. I just realized. <laughs> I'm using the term ironically, by the way. Yay! If only we got the deathless achievement as well, but Rees ruined everything. That is simply not true. True chivalry, penny pincher. Perfect platformer. If only I also got the no deaths run. I'm going to be very salty about that. I, I really feel like that achievement was a... I got screwed out of. Because now, if we look at Shovel Knight's feats, it looks like we got everything but impossible. Which is literally impossible, because even if you try it, the game will just say no. I'm, I don't care. I'm counting that I got the Deathless achievement there, because I essentially did. I effectively did. Yeah, Reese, I don't care. Reese should never have been able to get over there. You had to roll bad luck, I think, like 800 times in a row in order for him to go over there, so... Whatever. That's just my luck in games, often. <coughs> okay, you know what? I know we've done it. I know we've done it already, but I don't care. Reese, you're dying. You're dying for that. Yeah, how do you like it, Reese? How do you like it? I will make you suffer for that. I will make you suffer, Reese, as every character. I will make you suffer as every character! <laughs> Okay, I have to remember how to use Plague Knight properly, though. How am I whiffing with every bomb? How? Also, way to give me, like, an, a relic that is completely useless in this fight. They're like, you want the Fleet Flask? It's like, that is, that is literally useless in boss fights.
Oh, I guess it's not completely useless. Bye bye! <laughs> I am going to kill Reese as every character. <laughs> he deserves it. Oh no, rematch at Joustus is awful. We're not doing that. Oh, is Reese not a rematch? Okay. Well, he's definitely a rematch as a... He's definitely a rematch as Spectre Knight. I was at low HP. Oh well. Also, that's not how you spell his name. <laughs> Thanks, Skello Sentry! You really helped out. And then the grand finale, Nightmare Rees. Oh, I died immediately. Okay. Low health. Gotta remember that. Yeah, Reese. Not Reese. Time limit's not gonna be the hard part of this, it's gonna be just avoiding dying. <laughs> so I've learned the speedruns take two streams. <laughs> Which means we probably won't be seeing the speedruns of the other characters. Aw oh, man! Is it Rees or Rays? I thought it was Rees since it's the E before the I. It's funny, because we kicked Nightmare Reese's butt in the main campaign. But now we're actually in danger of dying against him. Okay, you don't want- you actually don't want to get too close to him. If you get behind him, you won't slash him and he'll just hit you. Okay. I'm killing Nightmare Reese. I'm taking out my aggression against him. That was good. Oh, that was really good. Okay, that was bad. I'm not used to playing a Spectre Knight, so I gotta get my head in the game.
See, this challenge mode really does make you have to learn his patterns. Because if you just go in and hack and slash like you did in the main campaign, he'll probably kill you really quickly. Oh no! The slash attack didn't appear in time! Okay, really? At least we dealt some extra damage. See, sometimes Nightmare Reese is pretty easy. Okay, now we're at the part where we're off the rails. Boom! Bah! <laughs> Challenge clear! <laughs> I killed my surrogate son that I love dearly. Yeah! Victory music! We've only done two of his challenges, and one of them was the final Nightmare Reese. Nice. Alright! Well, we at least did do the speedrun. It was stupid, but we, we did do it. Ah, man. I am still... I'm gonna be so annoyed for now on that I didn't get the Deathless achievement. I... Gosh, that's so annoying. That is so frustrating, but... Whatever. Thanks for joining in, everybody. So, like I said, Sunday, we will have an Ocarina of Time randomizer stream. Bring those already bucks, because custom music will be able to be uh, requested. I think we'll have one, maybe, maybe two more Shovel Knight stream weeks. Because I would like to do New Game Plus for Plague of Shadows. I don't really like the Spectre of Torment New Game Plus, but it should be short. And then I've never played the King of Cards New Game Plus, but so... That will be interesting. After that, one thing I'm considering doing is, since Backyard Baseball doesn't take up the whole stream time, I might go back here and do some of the feats and challenges after Backyard Baseball? I also have a couple of other ideas for really quick streams to do, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.